one. Lana Reed, the big favorite in lane five. Oh, how we would have loved to have seen the clash with Serena Cole because it's one apiece between them at the moment. In the set position. Off they go. It's a fabulous start by Alana Reed. Alexis James of Petersfield gives chase, but Alana Reed steps away from the pack, decimates the opposition. A stunning performance. 10.90. The flash time. Historic. Sumptuous. New champ record. New lifetime bet. A 22 year old record. <laughs> but I got goosebumps. Is there any mommy with it? You know you want to mommy? Yeah. I, I got goosebumps watching that. Broke a 22-year-old record by Veronica Campbell, who did 11-1-3. Not only broke it, done it. And guess where she is now? Whew. Look at that. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. So for the first time in the history of the um, girls' championships, Heidel won the title. They came in in 2010 and Edwin Allen who won uh, eight straight going for their 10th overall and got beaten <coughs> by Heidel. Our guests <coughs> now, Alana Reed, 100 and 200 champion at champs and head coach of the Heidel team, uh, Corey Bennett, who is not surprised. He said he was getting there and he got there. Morning to you both. Morning. Congratulations, coach. Congratulations, Alana. Thank you. Um, I, we were talking before we came in because I had a little discussion with my, with my analyst and I'm not the expert here, um, but they said you ran comfortable and you were easy and you did 1092. They thought maybe because Serena wasn't in the race and I tell them, say, Serena was in the race, you would run even faster. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, sir. You would have run faster. Yeah. 1092, it, it's sinking yet? <laughs> Not really, but I believe that I could do it. So. What did the coach tell you b before you went into the race? To just go out there and execute and do my best, because I know what I'm capable of doing. In training, what was the fastest time you did? I was 11.7, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure. 11.7? Coach, yeah, you know I'm not what, quite what sure. your fastest time was in training? I mean, we don't know, we just in the hundreds in training, we do shorter distances or over distances. Never the actual distance. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but she was, she was in shape. Did you know she could clock in 10, 9, 2? I know she could run fast, and I knew she could run below the record. Um, 10, 9 was a bonus. Ah. Um, but, you know, she said to me before the race, um, I think I can run 10, 9. And I'm like, hey, 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 just. <laughs> You told him that? Yeah. But you didn't promise us that something special was coming, but yeah. man. We knew it was going to come, but I just don't focus on time. Just focus on execution. Time will come. Yeah. But don't focus is on that, time. Is that, is that a, a, a mistake that we make? I think a lot of athletes um, over the years focus on times a lot. Um, and you can't predict the conditions on the day. Mm -hmm. So you focus on the execution. The only thing you can control is the execution. And I've told my athletes over the years, you know, we don't discuss records, we don't discuss time, we discuss execution. And once you focus on that, mm -hmm. you may surprise yourself. That's an interesting take. Eh? Yep. Usually, Alan, as soon as you guys go through, you look at the clock. When you saw 10.90, because that was the flash time, it, it even out to 10.92, that's when you started to jump up. Because no, you know it went from over uh, 30 meters. Mm -hmm. But is the, the, when you saw the time, you said to yourself, what? What, what did you say? Well, I was pleased with myself because I wanted to run it. As I said before, I told her that I wanted to run 10 and it was like, relax if it comes then it will come. So seeing that I got the chance to run that time, I was honestly pleased with my performance because I knew that I could do it. Did you know it was Veronica Campbell's record that you were going to beat? Well, yes, because before I ran, I, ran, I looked on the sheet, the heat sheet, and I saw the record on the top. So I was like, okay, I'm in shape to run fast, so I think I can beat it. And that's when you knew it was Veronica Campbell? Right. Okay. So how do you feel today? I mean, champs is a brutal beast, eh? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You've, you've run out your soul case, as Jamaicans would say. How do you feel this morning? Just physically, one, and then looking back at your performance, um, I'm sure you've done a what went right, what went wrong, right? So what are your thoughts looking back? Well, during the championship, um, after the 100 meters, I was a bit tired, but I had to focus my mind to tell myself that, hey, I have another 
event doing so I had to condition myself to prepare for the 200. Mm -hmm. After that I had the relay and I was like all right the two individual events are out the way so it's just time for me now to rest up and do my best in the relay. Mm -hmm. And then once I was pleased with that performance. I'm a bit tired now so it's just Of for course you boss. Up. Me the boss too. I mean. We do have the 200. Can we see the 200 also? Lined up. Yeah, before we get there. All right. So coach, coach, that, it's, it's a it's a lot of work, a lot of paces that these athletes are put through. Um, you must be very pleased with your team, historic win. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, tell me about what it took. Um, as Nev said this morning, principal said you did in. in I, that that in was at Calabar. Oh, a C bar. Yeah. Okay, but still, but still, what Heidel has been able to pull off um, after entering first in twenty ten. Yeah. Thirteen is, years. Is major. How did you do it? What's the secret sauce? You know, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> to be honest, it, it, it is it is taking each event one at a time. It is trying to just be right by individuals, and and, and never can tell in football if you if you make each player better, the team ultimately performs better. Yeah. Um, so we just take a more individualistic approach and. It has been working. We, we don't focus on trying to win a champs. We just try to focus on making each individual a little better. Mm. So Love that. Try to make them be the best version of themselves. Yeah. Okay. You beat Edwin Allen after they beat you at Central Champs and there was a little, check those numbers again, and then you ended up winning by half a point. Okay. How much of a motivation was that to say, well, if we do it there, we, we can do it at Champs? <coughs> the motivation really came with the fact that we still haven't gotten our trophy for Central Champs. <laughs> we just thought that was disrespectful of the organizers. We've asked what's up with the trophy. Um, and we've not heard anything about it. So we just said, girls, let's forget about that. You know, let's just go and push again. Yeah. Because I think a lot of persons probably were not pleased that we won Central Champs and thought that we should not have won Central yeah. Champs. So we say, hey, let's go. You don't get your trophy for Central? No, not yet. You, you, you had some mishaps. Um, you had some, I think you, it, it's, it's two relays that you, you, didn't, you ended up first and never got the points, right? Um, so when you saw that, you, you, what you said, why? It's not I mean, over. Again, we're not, we're not pushing to, to win a chance, to be honest. But I believe in make sure you make the oppor best opportunity of each event. And when you, ha you have silly mistakes, then I'm not happy about that. You know? um, but things happen under pressure. Um, they're still young, they're still kids, and it happens at the senior level. So you know, I, I take a deep breath sometimes and realize that, hey, they're just still young. But it's not pleasing to get disqualified before you even run the race. Yeah, man. So you, you kind of feel that, you know, we could have been a lot more careful. But things happen, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're yeah. young. And, mm -hmm. you know, as much as I was not pleased with some of the disqualifications, um, and then, like, my favorite girl, favorite favorite to win the class three long jump, who won it at Carpenter Trials and should be going to Bahamas, she didn't even make the finals. Wow. So, you know, just a lot of things went wrong. And, you know, but, you know, they're young and, Champs is high pressure. Yep. You know, and once you, you, you accept that, you yeah, understand that way. Last race of champs. Edwin Allen, huge favorites. I think even you didn't expect them to win that race. And you knew you had to come second to win champs. What were you feeling? And not, not more instructions and stuff, because I think everyone in, in the whole stadium knew that if I did ever come second, I think if he came third, it would be tied on points or something like that. But, yeah, but what were you thinking? The truth is, Neville, is that before the final race, we heard we were leading by, might have been six points. I think it was seven, yeah, six or seven, yeah. yeah. So we f I figured, okay, just come top three. Just be careful, don't make any mistakes. It's one of those championships where you don't make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. You don't need to blast, you don't need to go for the win. But if you come top two, it's a little easier, but just, just be safe. Run to the outside of the lane, not even the middle of the lane. Just, you don't have to be blasting. Um, and then when I heard we were leading only by four, yeah. I couldn't go back to the girls and say, hey, you need to come oh. top two. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm glad that it, it went how it went. Um, the girls, it was set up just to put our most inexperienced runner first, which was, I don't know if it was a mistake at, after, after that, but I just thought, give it, put it in the hands of the more mature girls, the safer girls, and yeah. You didn't have friends quietly still, no? Holy. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to ask, Alan, is coach always this calm? Is he always this calm? At times. Oh my gosh. But the truth though is that 
even after the result, I, we couldn't celebrate. Yeah, you have to wait to see if anybody. Heard, yeah. When the jury of appeal is meeting and. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Edwin Allen had appealed the fact that they were thrown out of the race before. Yeah. So the coach is not just. Um, champs is not just high pressure for yeah, the athletes, right. it's for, for the everybody. Coach, right? Yeah, I'll yeah. spectate to them too. Yeah. Congrats for making the Crifter team. As yeah. the coach said, you go off to Bahamas and you're going to be the regional champion. My mommy tell you that. Yeah. Good to see you. Let's look at the 200 as we leave you. The set was in front. Off they go. Very, very good start by Alana Reed. Ricky and Russell was up and about as well. Casey and Powell is trying to stay with them. But Alana Reed makes a fabulous transition off the curve. She comes into the home stretch now, being chased by Casey and Powell of Edwin Allen. Alana Reed goes away from them. This is another fantastic exhibition of sprinting prowess. Oh, look at Alana Reed making it look like poetry in motion. She goes away, completes a sprint double in fantastic style. 22.08 seconds. 23. 23.08 seconds for Alana Reed. 23.08. A little off her the future Olympian. Yeah, man. Yeah. 22. You know, she don't run past everybody. <laughs> 100 and 200 meter champion, Alana Reed, champion um, coach of the Heidel team. And not only the champion coach, he, he came first as a coach in girls' champs and third as a coach in boys' champs. I don't know if that has ever happened. Uh, Corey, good to see you. By the way, it's Wolmer Zimius. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, again. Or it is. Why not? <laughs> Up next, everybody, find out about an initiative to improve literacy. We're back with that after this. <laughs>